Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to show you how to navigate this Temple of the Forgotten God. This is one of the final story quests you're going to be doing in Guild Wars 2. Eventually, after you do a little bit in Fort Trinity, you will have to swim out into the ocean where you will enter this temple. And you also have this lady with you, uh, you know, Sayi El Rajid, I think is how you would pronounce that. I could be wrong though. But I'm going to show you how to navigate this entire temple and basically complete this quest. Because I know this temple can be a little bit confusing where you have to go at what time. So this first part is pretty easy. First time I've seen a Risen stuck in the wall like this, but... Can I still hit him? Yeah, I can. Hopefully he doesn't go up too far where I can't hit him anymore. So, one of the things that you're going to notice for this dungeon is periodically you're going to run into these little glowy, like you can see right there, it says Temple Orb. So what we need to do is we need to find something like this over here, which I'll show you in a second. And yes, for those uh, who are going to point it out, I'm not very good on my Thief anymore. I don't like this class too much anymore. It's been a... Uh, it was originally the class that I played in Guild Wars 2 when I originally played, but I don't think it, it meshes well with me anymore. Especially for PvE, I don't like it because of the survivability. But anyway, the, this obelisk you see here, so this is going to be a reoccurring theme throughout this entire dungeon. You've got these obelisks, and you have to find them in the dungeon and then activate them. They will summon this little spirit that you kill. Once you kill the spirit, you have to wait until her body, or not her body, or her spirit, I guess, despawns. And when her spirit despawns, there's going to be a little pile of, like, radiant dust or dust on the ground that you pick up. And then you take that dust over to the, the temple thing that we passed on the way in. And like I said before, you're going to be doing this a few times. So I'll show you the process here. There by the okay, the you can see she dropped the illu illusory essence, illusory, essence. illusionary, see if it can be placed somewhere useful. and then we take it over here, and this opens the next door, the and the oceans flow again and again, we do this to open the next door. I think there's three in total that we have to do. Okay, so this next part we go up. And this is the room where things get a little bit confusing for people. Because if you're in this room now, I would say most likely you're probably in this room when you started watching the video. But you're probably a little bit further ahead. You've already done this part, the next part that I'm about to do right now. After you do the, this next part that I'm about to do and you come back into this room, you have to swim through that hole that I'm looking at up here by that purple whatever barnacles that are on the wall. That doorway will be open, and you'll when you swim close to it, a few shark enemies will come out. You may have already fought them, uh, and that's where you go the next time. You'll see in a moment when I go up there. Down I go. You can't keep a good man down. Come on. I look. don't have enough energy. No. Gosh darn it. My uh heal wasn't up in time. You know, it actually just occurred to me that I should probably do an elite spec on my thief because I haven't yet, despite the fact that I've unlocked two because I never play this character anymore. That would probably help out. I would need to buy a new weapon, though. 
Which isn't that big of a deal. Probably go dead eye for all of this. You can see though that we opened uh that feels good. Let me do this. Ancient elixir. I think this makes me invulnerable, yeah, for like three seconds. That went better than I expected. Some, a little toy on the ground to play with basically is all that is. So now we're going to be exiting into this room and I'll be able to show you what I was talking about before we came in here. So you can see that the entrance over there is open. I'm going to wait until I heal before I swim up there because I'm going to have to fight more enemies once I go up there. Alrighty, let's go. So you can see... Well, actually, no shark, but we got a risen sea turtle and uh, whatever the other thing is. What is that other thing? Oh, there is a shark. A sea skeet scorpion. Okay. Doesn't look like a scorpion, but well, that's fine. I'm in bad shape here. And we eliminated everything. So now once we're in this room. Yay, now we're back on land. I like that. Land is fun. Underwater is not fun. I guess it depends on your class though. On my uh, necromancer, underwater is actually quite a bit of fun. I really like the trident weapon, I think it is, that they use. So you can see the next temple orb is in here, and we summon the illusory guy over here. So we have to take her out real fast, and we can go in there and do that one. And I think there are, there is rather, one more after that. I could be wrong, and there might be two, but I think there's just one. And yes, you're going to quickly notice I have no idea how to play a thief, so I, I just spam three now. Like I said, this this used to be my old main character, but uh, the reason I'm using this one for the video is because he's apparently one of the only characters I have that hasn't completed this storyline yet. And it's worth noting you can also attack with this orb. For some classes, it's probably better than what you have. For my thief, it actually might be better than the weapons I'm using. But for a lot of characters, it's not going to be like... You're going to want to use your main weapons anyway. Like, even for my feet, it's basically I'm doing more damage, even though I'm only spamming one ability than that illusory essence does. And then, obviously, you're not going to want to, uh... Wrong. Fall into the water behind us because that'll that take us back good. downstairs. Two shines. We must be so now we fight the two of these. The you can fight them one at a time, you can activate them both at the same time. It really doesn't matter. first essence and then the second essence gimme 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 there we go 
the altar should be the next chamber. Be cautious. And if I'm not mistaken, we fight a boss up here. So Those Orion like, chests we pass, the they always have single use. I think they're single use weapons in them. And, uh, yeah. Intrude. I don't care about you that. I've used them before a few now. times. It's, you know, it's nothing impressive. No, slave creature. We serve our oaths, and those oaths demand your death. So wait to death and beyond. Saitan demands your death. I've been waiting. Eat my dust. Submit to the dragon. Once we beat this boss, it's basically over. The ground opens up, we go through, and then we swim out of here. Yes, sir. The dragon horrors and fear. These ancient foundations will not withstand the sound. Escape quickly, before we are buried forever. And there you go. The little path opened. Make sure you don't hit the... Uh, floor when you're jumping down and then we swim to the exit which is over here and that's all there is to it hopefully this video helped you guys out with navigating temple of the forgotten god if uh i left anything out forgot anything or you know you guys have any questions comments concerns anything like that please let me know in the comment section below and aside from that i will catch you guys around in future guild wars 2 videos peace